one issue that's out there that Morgan people get on their nerves and we can do something about it. I think it would be rather silly not to do something about it. Yeah. And then look at the rest of the budget moving forward. So that's my contribution. That's it. I have to say that I can be totally surprised. If there's a real crisis that this month, you know, the other way, why is it?
Jim, Jim McGinley is the name. Um, one issue that's having a severely adverse effect on the lives of people in Birkenhead <coughs> and everywhere else in the country is the bedroom tax. And um, I know that councillors are appalled at the suffering and hardship being experienced by those at the receiving end. And they are against it, they want to do something about it. Now, in view of, in the first place, that it's back of a fag packet calculations on the part of the government uh, leading up to this, it, you know, I, I will be brief. I will, oh. um, yes, okay, my question is this why can't the council? Um, be persuaded to do what 21 at least other councils have done and insisted that the provisions of the 1985 Housing Act in relation to room size do apply uh, to uh, implementation of the bedroom tax. It cannot be illegal to base yourself on legislation. The government is all wrong. If the council did that, it would take hundreds, thousands of people out of the firing line and improve <coughs> their lives dramatically. Uh, hi, Paul Hayward. Uh, my question is this. I'm, okay, I've come here today and listened to everybody here, but I'm not really sure how this is going to tie in to the main council meeting and how, the, how this group is actually tying into the main council and how we and the other areas are actually tying back again to the main council. Where does it, where does it all collate and where does it all come in? My second question is on this documentation. I went online to actually look for this documentation and I got the first three PDFs that showed you some of the information but none of the actual data. The data associated with this, in, if, you, if you go back through the, the literature, is lots and lots of figures but no columns to the left of it which doesn't show you what any of that information and numbers mean. They'll look my questions. One of the things that I've noticed from here tonight is that there seems to be a skills gap from where I'm sitting. There seems to be a few people on the set up on that top on the table there are quite happy with this. I think we're asking for the community representation. I think the communities need to know a lot more about what's happening. And it's nothing against you guys, it's just the way that it's always business has been always been done. So one of the things that I'm asking for is can you start having things like workshops so we can understand because let's be honest with you, pretty soon everybody will be saying it's a piece of competition. You pay, you say this is what we want to do, where's Stuart saying his hit list, there's someone else saying there is 75 pounds, it's a very small glass deck, and a big old yes. hole. We've got a big thing in this. If you want the communities to be in the this, we <coughs> don't understand what you guys are talking about. That's the same place to put you to that. Thank you. 
aspiration and that we as a group should be setting the agenda for that and having the highest aspirations for birth and health. We talk about needs young people who aren't in education or training or employment, but we're missing maybe that the entrepreneurialism. How will this group engage with the business community and actually give these young people something to inspire them to do that they can do as individuals to lift themselves and the fulfilling time of it?
Thank you. 